All right, here we are, guys. Eagle Peak, hole one, par four. And uh, looks like we got a little bit of a tailwind here. Definitely going to be a couple different ways you can go about doing this. Um, what I'm going to suggest uh, for most cases would just be to kind of blast it as far down there towards the right-hand side that you can. Um, if you have a very good curling driver, uh, it might make a little bit more sense to try to curl it over to that left-hand side uh, behind these trees. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't risk it. I don't think it's wor worth getting over there, but just by the looks of this hole, I would try to get it over there to the left if I could because I'm a little bit worried about this angle. Um, this is my first attempt at this hole, uh, but here you can actually kind of see it that, uh, you know, it's a little bit shielded. It seems like the green. What, I, what, what I'd ideally like to do is kind of be here and use this fairway as kind of a hop because it just seems like, you know, I really don't think getting it out there is going to be very easy. I just saw an extra mile, not even close to there. Um, and I'm not willing to use any more Powerball than he just did. So um, as I mentioned, you know, if you can get over to that left side, uh, as I mentioned, probably a curling apocalypse uh, backspin shot would be ideal. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to have to kind of blast it down here and there. I was trying to definitely favor the right side so you could see my timing there a little bit early. What it, there's a reason that I'm trying to kind of keep it right, and that's to kind of give myself just a little bit um, better angle to hopefully get past the trees, and it looks like that I did. It almost seems like over here, you know, I might... So you can see how kind of my opponent has to kind of go over the edge of the trees uh, in there pretty close to the rough and you can see that I'm almost like tw a full 20 yards to the right of that not really longer than them but the the the, the little bit of better angle is going to give me you know that much more of a chance and opportunity at this hole it seems to be relatively flat maybe just a little bit of a downhill um, so with the downhill, I'm thinking maybe plus 10, but it shouldn't be a very substantial downhill shot. Let's take a look what we got for wind. Here's min club. Here's max club up here. And let's see if I can put enough backspin on this. Looks like I can. So right around four backspin, four and a half, and you can see kind of where I'm landing. Um, we're going to be relatively close to min club, but not quite. I'm thinking, you know, somewhere down here, maybe 3.1-ish rings. You'll see that I'm kind of, you know, staying away from that edge here. Maybe going to right here with the ball guide. Perfect ball. So far, so good. So far, so good. Just a little bit too much. I might have just over pulled just a little bit but i'm not necessarily convinced that you know i did have the perfect adjustment that was only my first time playing it but i do feel pretty good that it was definitely close um one of the things that you'll see that i'll do is i'll try to use the ball guide when i'm making those ring adjustments so if you see me where it might look like i'm kind of over pulling on in terms of the rings um what i'll try to do is Instead of using the rings, I'm going to try to use the ball guide because I know that that ball guide, the spot where it's landing on the ground, is, you know, definitely probably just a little bit more accurate. As to So that's the way that I'll kind of count my rings. But uh, I'm going to split these up and I'll catch you guys on the shootout. 